An Oklahoma State University student has his identity stolen. The thief using his driver's license, a gas bill, and credit history all to get approved for a new car. News Force Dylan Brown digs into this complex car buying scheme involving several victims. Before you buy a new or used vehicle from a dealership, you have to go through several steps so that they can make sure you are who you say you are. This story involves two suspects with arrest warrants out right now because they allegedly stole identities and thousands of dollars. Oklahoma City Police looking for Gregory Hayes Jr. and James Hill Jr. Officers say Hayes, March 26th, bought a 2017 Toyota RAV4 at the Key Auto dealership. The price tag, just over $23,000 allegedly using an OSU student's identity and was approved, able to drive off with the vehicle. Five days later, James Hill Jr. enters the alleged crime scheme, selling the RAV4 on Facebook Marketplace using a fake name to an unsuspecting buyer for a steal, $11,500. The victim wanted to buy the vehicle, agreed to meet here near 3100 Northwest 39. James Hill Jr. would meet him here James Hill Jr. would present the name Brandon Johnson. He would end up showing a, a license that matched Brandon Johnson, even a title that matched Brandon Johnson. But here's where Hill Jr. allegedly went wrong. When the victim checked the VIN number, it came back as stolen. The victim giving back the RAV4 to the dealership, losing out on thousands. Here's the thing, Hill used Marketplace to commit a crime before. That is absolutely the most terrifying thing I've ever been through. 2018 arrested after selling an iPhone through Marketplace, taking money, crashing a car, caught on video. It's too good of a deal to be true. Um, it probably is. K4 tried contacting Hayes Jr. at his last known address. We just want to talk. We just want to get your side of things, man. But he wouldn't come out. 